It is day 44 in Planck Purgatory. Today I wanted to remind you that you can in fact push yourself. One second, I'm going to grab this cat. There we go. You can in fact push yourself. Sometimes I forget that too, especially in this digital age, it is something that's very easy to forget. When you're distracted, when you're preoccupied or scrolling, you could forget that you're in control at a moment's notice, at the blink of an eye, you could change what you're doing. You could change your trajectory. It's quite liberating, actually. It's not easy, but it's definitely possible for anybody. I'm starting to understand better these high-performing people. The ultra-marathon runners, David Goggins, the world record holders, Yosef Salik for the plank, 9 hour, 38 minute plank. Recently, Cameron Haynes' son, Truett Haynes, broke the pull-up world record for the most amount of pull-ups in 24 hours. 8,100 pull-ups in 24 hours. That's no joke. That's an all-day effort. In fact, that's like... Well, I guess it would technically be all day because it's 24 hours, right? But that's like two work days that he put in. Two eight-hour shifts or more. I don't remember exactly how long it took him, but it's not easy. This all comes from an internal push, a decision something from the will, something from the will to create something new, something that hasn't been there, something that hasn't been done. I got a little glimpse of this today myself. I've been saying since the beginning of January that I would complete 1,500 push-ups in one single day before the end of January. Today, I actually achieved that. I won't give any more spoilers, I won't say exactly how many push-ups I did, but I smashed my goal. And I smashed any previous amount of push-ups I've done in one day. About halfway through, I thought I was kind of spent. Emotionally, I was not invested any longer. I did not really want to be doing it. I thought I could take it easy and just kind of coast and still get my goal. But internally, I wanted something more. Internally, I decided this is no time to slow down. In fact, pick up the pace a little bit because I knew I could. And my pace near the end was actually almost double 
the pace I set at the beginning. It was actually almost triple the pace I set at the very beginning. And that's because I realized I wanted something. And when you truly realize that, you're able to hold it, grasp it in your own hand. You're able to grasp it and just make the decision that this is mine. I'm gonna go get this. And that is very liberating because I knew it was done before I even did it. So those, here, let me count. Let me count exactly how many hours I spent doing push-ups today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve hours of push-ups. Those twelve hours of push-ups I spent today were worth it. And halfway through, I already knew I'm going to get what I set out to get. I'm gonna get what I want. It all comes from the internal. And yet, so many of us, most of us, are seeking something in the external world. Whether that be on our phones, our computers, talking to other people, looking for it in a book. Usually, it's not in there. There are, of course, great things you could extract, incredible information you could learn from people. I'm not saying that's not true. However, the real self-development comes from the inside. It is self-development after all. It is the ability to take what we've already gained, compress it, stretch it, flip it, extract and strain all the important qualities throw out the rest, compress it again, put it all together. How can this be applied? That's where it really comes from. And you can't do that if you're always distracted. I had a very, very nice day today. When I say nice, I mean productive. I had a very productive day, and a big part of that was the fact that for 12 hours, I was not distracted by my phone, I was not distracted by my computer, or a book, or really anything. I was just sitting with myself, of course, doing push-ups as well but mostly just sitting. Sitting, walking around a little bit, getting some chores done. Luckily, I had a lot of free time today, which allowed me to do this. It doesn't come from the outside world, the things we really need. We already have it. It's already within us. We just don't give it a chance. We just think, if I had a little more information, I could apply it. If I just asked one more question, that'll be the answer I'm looking for. We already have all of the answers every single one.
We already know what to do. Everybody knows what to do in their own lives. Everyone knows how to make their own lives a little better. It's just a matter of listening to ourselves. It's kind of funny to me that there's this stigma of, or I should say against, talking to yourself. Crazy people talk to themselves, right? That's the idea. Schizophrenics, hear voices. You shouldn't talk to yourself. People will think you're crazy. Who knows you best? Well, obviously you know you best. Nobody knows you better than you do. So why don't you ask yourself a couple questions about yourself? Why am I doing this? Why don't I do something else? Sometimes you won't like the answers you hear and you got to shut that voice up. Sometimes it's, I shouldn't be doing this. Sometimes it's, I don't know why I'm doing this. It's hard. Sometimes you got to shut that voice out. You don't listen to that voice. You don't talk to that voice. That voice is not there to help you. That voice is there to pull you away from your goals. To take the easy path, the comfortable path. Sit on the couch. Have some cookies. Cookies and milk. Have a nap. That's not where the self-improvement happens. That's not where we get better as people, as individuals. You do have to listen to that voice though. You do have to hear what it says because sometimes it's right. Sometimes it's right. The loud voice can be right. But when it's right, you know it's right. If you ever question it, it's probably trying to pull you towards the path of comfort. If it's screaming at you to run, yeah, maybe you should run. If you're being chased by wolves and you're thinking, man, I got to run. I got to get out of here. Yeah, you should do that. If you are working hard and you think, man, I got to get out of here. If you're in the middle of, a, of an intense gym workout and you think, man, I got to get out of here. Tell that voice to shut up. There's no place for that voice right now. There's a time and place for everything. That voice will give you a push too. There's another voice though. There's another voice that says, what if? What if I could be greater? What if I could achieve my goals? What would I become? What am I capable of? It's a treat and it's a little bittersweet when you find out what you're capable of. It's a treat because you've surpassed your limits. And it's bittersweet because you see that there were really no limits after all. It was all self-imposed. You get to see just how far the mountain goes. You get to see that just because you were able to do this 
doesn't mean you're going to be able to do something else. Doesn't mean you're going to be able to even do a little more, but it might mean that you could do a little more. It's all up to you. I'm going to leave it at that. Give yourself a bit of a push today.